right now, forests are being cut down across the globe. Fires are raging. Landscapes are being desecrated. Water is being polluted. And the ocean is becoming so acidic that crustaceans are starting to dissolve away. We are in crisis. Global weather patterns have reached extremes unseen in human history, at least recent human history. And we are at a place now where our very survival may depend on incredible innovation that is built on a holistic relationship with the natural world, one in which we view ourselves as an integral, interconnected part of a greater system. We alienated ourselves from nature, and as a result, our health has declined significantly for thousands of years, and we have brought this planet to a great age of extinction, never before seen, never before seen. We are in the sixth great extinction. Every six minutes, one species goes extinct, never to be seen on this planet again. Every year, we are losing upwards of 240,000 different species of flora and fauna. We are losing species faster than we can actually understand them. And in many, many cases, identify them through taxonomy. Extinction has happened before. There has been crisis and catastrophe, whether that would be an asteroid, an ice age, major earthquakes, pole shifts. Extinction has happened, don't get me wrong, but the extinction that is happening now is human induced. It's anthropocentric. We can, can, we can slow it down and bring ourselves back to stability. And yes, extinction has happened before. It isn't the end of the world as we know it. If we were to leave tomorrow, things would eventually regenerate and more biodiversity and speciation and evolution would start to unfold naturally, as it already is. But we are causing extinction at a rate that is a hundred times faster than any other extinction rates before. This is something that has accelerated, particularly after the Industrial Revolution, as we started to put more greenhouse gases, CO2, methane, nitric oxide, into the atmosphere. It has also accelerated as we've started to degrade landscapes through agricultural agriculture reliant on mechanization and sprawl our cities and mine more resources and cut down forests. But this has actually been going on even in prehistory, before agriculture. Over 10,000 years ago, in the Neolithic, rather the Paleolithic age, we were causing mass extinction. There was a period in recent history, only a few tens of thousands of years ago, where the world actually was inhabited with mega fauna. There were animals, primarily herbivores, weighing over a hundred pounds of a variety of species inhabiting the globe. In North America, for example, there were beavers and there were sloths. 
that were actually the size of modern bears. There were horses. There were emus, massive emus in Australia, large reptiles. In New Zealand, there was an eagle, the largest eagle history of this planet. And throughout Europe and Mesoamerica, there were a wide variety of other species that don't currently inhabit these regions. Europe, for example, there were actually lions and there were tigers. There were cheetahs in North America, horses as well. Humans were the primary influential factor that caused the extinction of all these species even before agriculture. We wipe them out for food. And right now we're causing the same problems on a global scale because of our relationship with food. So we're gonna shift it. We need to create a regenerative model in which we obtain our food and produce it with an intimate, harmonious, relationship with the planet and we can do so and as we start to create biodiverse systems that provide our needs and start to understand the natural world through observation real intimate observation remove ourselves from classroom settings that are devoid of nature we can start to create everything we need while providing habitat and reversing this trend of extinction. Let's do it together. If you like our page, subscribe to our channel. You'll be able to see other videos that go in great detail and explain how you can do this all right from the comfort of your own home, in your own backyard, and in your community. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.